We are doing exactly what the characters in the movie are doing. We were trying to go way above and beyond what we could do with the first movie. We were, in every aspect, we were just trying to take it to, the, to that next level. And so rather like Buster, and we found ourselves in situations that were extraordinary. Whether it was a casting thing like someone like Halsey or Bono working with people of that caliber, or just building sets and trying to create set pieces like the opening sequence, a four minute Prince number set to an Alice in Wonderland sort of theme. There were, everything was wildly ambitious. You can imagine my joy when I heard that he'd not only enjoyed the first Sing movie, but when he heard what the character was and what it kind of represented within the story, he connected with that. He was just enthusiasm from the start. Curiosity and enthusiasm in equal measure, really. I mean, you couldn't ask for more. So in terms of like me as a human, as a fan of, that, of you two, it was mind blowing. But then in terms of being a director, and knowing that this character is going to be voiced by Bono, it's as good as it gets. I love Miss Crawley. I love that I can have her sing along with uh, System of a Down or, or, um, or be involved in an action sequence or just be really tender and, and loyal and sweet. Um, she is sort of ridiculous and delightful in equal measure and, and just so much fun to play. It is such a joy to just stand behind a microphone and try and be Miss Crawley. It's lovely. Buster Moon is really just, has been in love with creating something wonderful, creating joy and wonder and, sh and that, that feeling of sharing it with an audience. That audience and that, that big show is what Buster Moon is driven by. This, this magical thing that can happen when you create something, a story and you put it in front of an audience. And I honestly feel that Chris Melodandry, myself, and everyone at Illumination share a similar you know, ambition to Busters, which is to give an audience something truly wonderful, to really sweep them away, musically, story-wise, visually, everything. I want, when I go to the cinema, to be swept away. This happens to be a big movie in every sense, emotionally, musically, cinematically, um, and I think, like, I think it's something but even Buster Moon would be pretty proud of. There is something unique about the cinema, the theatres, that is so perfect for Sing. Sing 2 is just the scale of it, whether it's the sound or the visuals or the, just the whole emotional ambition. If you're sitting there with hundreds of people and you're all swept up, it is, it's quite something. And so far when I've watched it with audiences, it's been quite profound. It's almost been like being at a rock concert towards the end. We're all in it together, all cheering for these characters.